and now this this is part two how to uh, disassemble the carb and uh, of course clean clean the carb uh, there's really not much to cleaning it most of the work is in disassembling it uh, so if you didn't see the uh, first part if you're interested in how to remove the carb from the sled uh, watch the part one video of how to do that um, so now with the with the carb removed from the sled uh, you can um, bring it over to your bench. Uh, one thing is you definitely want to have a towel. You could have a old rag or something like what I have here. Uh, but a lot of little parts, you know, you're going to deal with a lot of little screws and stuff. So you want to have a place to uh, to set those down so they don't roll away. Um, so and it's best. Uh, there's going to be some gas leaking out. There's plenty of gas in the carb. I just uh, did dump some out. I put it in a little container and dumped most of it out. But you can definitely uh, smell that gas. Uh, there's a lot of fumes. Um, you probably want to have a, a well-ventilated area. I wouldn't do this in a confined space. Uh, I'm in my garage right now. So, But anyway, with the uh, carb laying down like this, uh, it's obvious which which side is which. This side is the uh, is the uh, engine side, and uh, you can see it says heated up here. Um, actually, I'm sorry. This is the uh, intake side. This is the engine side. This is where the carb boots uh, were on. And it looks like there's going to be a lot of crud to scrape off over here. But anyway. Face it down like this. Uh, the Makuni um, text is upside down here, the way I have it. So, first step is to take these tops off. So, it's just four Phillips head screws here. Just takes a little bit of force to crack those, not too bad. But again, keep track of all your parts side by side where. Not gonna get lost. Two per here. Just let the capture come right off. Gasket, can pull the gasket off. This gasket shouldn't have a, shouldn't have a problem with this tearing or anything. It's a rubber gasket that uh, stays intact. Keep the screws right with it. This side. Sometimes a little more force to uh, run the screw. Definitely use the right size uh, Phillips. I'm not sure what number this is, but you don't want to chew these screws up, strip them in any way. Just make sure it fits in there good when you put it in. Otherwise, get a different screwdriver that does fit. into this. That one's a little tighter. Took a little bit to crack there. But she's off now. Set the screws aside. Keep the screws with the parts. Okay. So now you basically have the covers off. Uh, if you look inside here, you can see, uh, this is the next step actually, is it's hard to see from here. Uh, actually, in order to do this step, you really you have to rotate the throttle cam all the way back. And uh, you can sit here and hold this with your hand while you're trying to do it and make it impossible. Or what I do, is I push that back. I actually have a screw here somewhere. Um, you want kind of like the right length screw and uh, I actually put the tip of the screw in this in the cam screw head and then you can actually jam this thing keep it open by jamming it there and then this screw should kind of fall into place there and that actually jams it all the way open it just works out just right uh, 
I don't know, that looks like maybe a one inch screw there. Um, I don't think it's one and a quarter, it looks like one, could be one and a quarter. Uh, one or one and a quarter, you'll have to play around if you have some screws laying around. Because you want this to, uh, when you rotate that cam, the uh, the flat slide in, inside the uh, carb lifts up. And so what you need to do, the next step is, you want to take, it's an Allen wrench, uh, I believe it's a 2.5 millimeter. This is uh, what we're doing here is we're getting the needles out. The main needles. And uh, if this isn't in there good it could come flying off but I think I got it in there good right now. So don't push down otherwise you will release the screw. So just uh, yeah feels like a 2.5 there. Just loosen these. These are Allen heads in here. You just want to loosen that up. You can feel it slowly loosen up. It doesn't, doesn't crack loose, just kind of slowly. And you just want to loosen it up a few turns. It's holding this little hook here, which is uh, securing the needle down. So I'll show you that. In a, you'll see that in a sec. So make sure it's in there. You don't want to strip the Allen's either. Allen heads. So just a few turns just to loosen it up. Now this stuff is best done with a little flathead screwdriver. Just push the little hook out of the way. That's all you got to do. And there's a little stop to it so you can push it up so it's almost vertical looking at it like this. Push them up out of the way. And take a uh, needle nose pliers. Grab onto the top of the needle and it should come right out. And lay that down. You don't want to damage it or ruin it in any way. And there's a little washer on it. This one decided to drop the washer. It's night it's best if it if it holds onto that washer if you can get it to as you're lifting it. This one wants to refuse. Uh, there it goes, binds up, try to get it to bind up on the needle. And then of course that just fell out now. But there you go, the needles are out. Now you can uh, unload the cam here. Just pop the, pop the screw back out. It doesn't want to come out too easy, it's jammed in there. Perfect. That was just the perfect length screw for that. But I can let the cam back down. So now you get the main needles out. I uh, definitely want to keep the uh, little white washers with the needle. Keep them on there. There's not much to clean there. We'll wipe those down when we get to the uh, cleaning part. They look like they're in good shape. You know, if these are if these are bent or anything like that, you've got problems. Okay, so now with the needle out, you can take, this is the next step, is to take the face covers out, the cover, the uh, intake covers off, I guess is what I'll call these. Uh, there's actually eight screws, four here and four here. So just... Uh, Okay, so now screws are out. This should just lift out. Well, it lifts up and then there's the flat slides that have to come out. So you lift up and then kind of just, of course this hose is creating problems, slide it out. And this is what you got. Not much to do here. This is just where the coolant goes through. 
we'll wipe the insides of these out, but for the most part, there's not much cleaning to do there. So this is what the inside of the carb looks like. So not much, there's really nothing more to do inside here. Uh, so now we'll move on to the uh, the uh, float bowl here. And of course there's a little more fuel coming out. I'm going to turn it upside down. So basically these are the float bowls. Uh, there's two things holding each one on. This big, uh, forget what it is, um, you know, the 14 or 14 millimeter. Oh, I'll find out in a sec. Uh, and then a little Phillips head screw. So what I would do first here is loosen Uh, it's actually 17, 17 millimeter. Take your socket, turn it sideways here. You want to get as much leverage as possible. Also, keep in mind there's a gasket here. This one tends to, it doesn't want to come out, it stays in. There's another gasket inside here, you'll see when we pop these off. Uh, well, that wasn't very tight at all. That's a little tighter. Almost got it to finger tight with a quarter turn. There you go. Actually, loosen these just a little bit. And then uh, back to your Phillips head, uh, make sure it fits in there good. And then just take those little screws out. You don't want to lose these. So again, keep track of them. Put some up there. And now you can finish unscrewing the main bolt there that holds on the float. A little bit of used old looking gas sitting in there still. You get overwhelmed by gas fumes here. Set these aside. And again, keep in mind there's a gasket in here too, an O-ring they call it. Gasket O-ring. Fuel out of there. So we'll clean that off too. Set those aside here. One more space here. Put those up here. Okay, so here's what we got. If we look into the float bowls, just to see if they're uh, dirty or anything. Keep the gasket over here with the float bowl. So this is what that looks like. Um, these should <coughs> you should just move up and down freely. A little spring holds them. We won't take. We're not going to actually take the floats out. Um, as long as they're moving freely, they're they're fine. <clears throat> so the next step is really a couple more things here. Uh, we want to get the uh, the main jet, the main jets out here, and then we want to get uh, the pilot jets out. So main jet, I don't have an open wrench the size for the main jet, so. If you know what size it is, looks like maybe it's a six millimeter or something like that. Um, then definitely use that. I all I have is a little open-ended 
uh, crescent wrench here, so I'm going to use that to get these off. Get it as tight as possible on there. And then we should just be able to turn. Not too much force required at all. Get those off. Getting a little stubborn. Okay. It's just a hole, straight through hole. We'll use a little wire to try to clean those out. They look pretty clean. It's like as long as there's a good passageway there, you're fine. Now you want to get the uh, pilot jets out. For that, uh, you can see down in there is a little flathead uh, uh, slot for a flathead screwdriver. You want to make sure the flathead's in there good. You don't want to strip this out and then that one out. Looks okay. So we'll just clean all that. Okay, so with the jets out now, the last step here, as far as taking the carb apart, or at least as far as you need to take it apart, is to remove the fuel jets. And to do that, it's just these little plastic uh, heads here. Uh, keep in mind there's a is it a basically a needle there's a rubber wash on here don't lose that and same here let's get this one out and same thing with this get that out and rubber washer so that's it that's the disassembly. So, all I'm going to do now is take the jets here and spray some carb cleaner into uh, my little bowl here. Too much in there. And, uh, prop that up. So all the carb cleaner sits to one side, and I'll throw the jets in there. The rest I'll just uh, wipe down. And uh, by hand, you know, with a with a towel, and then uh, I'll reassemble it. So that's the disassembly. Okay, that's it. Next step will be to uh, reassemble and put it back in the sled. Thanks for watching.